Following weeks of investigation into our banking sector, the financial regulator has concluded that there is no such thing as political debanking in the United Kingdom. Yeah, right. Hello to you all beautiful freedom fighters, uh, welcome back to 2C TV. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the, the banking scandal. We're also waiting for the House of Lords uh, to finalise uh, the idiotic online safety bill. Uh, we'll report on that later tonight or tomorrow morning when everything's uh, uh, gone through the house and everything else. But let's talk about what's going on right now in the UK, especially across England because of uh, the banking sector. So. As you guys remember, we had the issue with Coots & Co and the NatWest Group, and that was mostly related to Nigel Farage. Then Nigel Farage exposed the whole uh, industry, and we discovered so many other people have been debanked. And uh, considering that Coots & Co and the NatWest Group essentially admitted that this was a biased decision, that's why their CEOs had to stand down, so they admitted, and we had the documents. Uh, that uh, Nigel Farage exposed that anyway, you would think that this investigation that uh, was uh, conducted by uh, the uh, FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, which was ordered by uh, the Treasury uh, and uh, Jeremy Hunt's uh, Treasury, and you think that they were going to conclude that uh, lessons must be learned, for example, or something about basic reform. Well, the FCA has launched about it had launched two reviews. One of them was into whether individuals were being discriminated against because of their political views, and another one into whether politically exposed persons, PEPs, uh, who include MPs, peers, leaders of UK political parties, and senior ranking military officers, are unfairly being denied banking services. Banks were required to uh, more closely monitor the accounts and transactions of PEPs since they are considered to be at a higher risk of bribery or corruption. Hmm. So that was the excuse. But then we already had the NatWest Group and uh, Coots & Co admitting that, that at least it was a mistake. Somehow the FCA have finished their investigation after weeks of waiting and uh, they've said, nope, everything's fine. Everything's absolutely fine. There's no issue in this country. So all those um, people who didn't have the same platform as Nigel Farage, who have been cancelled over the last few years, they're not going to get any justice out of this. Uh, Nigel Farage himself actually made a, a video about this on his uh, channel, uh, basically responding, saying this is just completely biased and the FCA have become a political entity. They say it's very straightforward. Um, nobody gets debanked because the primary reason is their politics. Well, didn't they read the subject access request that I got back from Coots? Haven't they seen the other UKIP members, Conservative members and Brexit Party MEPs who've been debanked? It's a list as long as your arm. And this gets to the heart of it. The FCA themselves are overtly political. They have been putting huge pressure on the banks and financial institutions to follow the diversity and inclusion agenda. Yes, of course, that matters far more than protecting customers' money. And because they're so political, they can't see bias where it exists. And what a farce. You say to a bank, have you day bank people for political reasons? They say no. And the FCA is, well, there we are. That's the end of the matter. Well, it isn't. It's a complete and utter farce. It is a total whitewash. It is a joke. Now, the ball, I think, is firmly back in the court of the government. Andrew Griffith and Jeremy Hunt, this isn't good enough. The FCA, we need sackings of the board. We need people putting in position who are not overtly political. If we don't have a proper regulator for our banking industry, what hope is there? I mean, that's the fascinating part. And Nigel mentioned it as well. Uh, as far as we know, the, the basic um, uh, summary of uh, this investigation is that the FCA essentially went to the banks and asked, the investigation was based on trust. So they asked the banks, are you political? Are you politically debanking people? And the bank said no. And the FCA said, okay, let me just double check your website. All right, cool, everything's fine now. That, that, that's not how it works. If you're going to have FCA doing that, then let's just go back to self-regulating uh, the whole industry. <laughs> let's just have banks regulating banks again as usual. It's just, it makes no sense. We already had, as I said, the NatWest Group and Kutsenko admitting they had to have their, their, their leaders and their managers resigning. So what was the point of them resigning if, uh, they had, if they did nothing wrong? 
If the NatWest Group and Coots and Co. hadn't done nothing wrong, and there's no issue with political debanking in this country, why did they have to resign? See, there are so many issues uh, with uh, this whole conclusion. And they told us before, you can trust political parties because of democracy. Then they said, it's okay, you can trust government. And then they said, well, it's all right, government can't be trusted. You can trust the regulators. But okay, no. You can trust independent bodies. No, they lie as well. You can't trust anybody. Anything that is based on some sort of structure, uh, whether it's a corporation or a big government or anything like this, there's always going to be problems, whether mistakes at best or at worst, bias. So you're not really going to have impartiality from any of these people inside the British establishment right now. There are some exceptions in terms of certain areas, but uh, not, not right now when it comes to FCA and many other entities. Let me know your thoughts. We'll keep an eye on this story as usual on Maya 2C and we are the media.